the USC mood tracker is upon us, and that's basically where I try and take the temperature of the fan base. But the problem with the USC fan base is they're very fragmented when I talk to them. Some of them say, get off my lawn, and then others won't reveal their true feelings, but don't worry, I know enough where I know there is a little, there's a little chasm slash chasm, a little divide in the fan base right now. I think we've got a we'll see crowd and we've got a we've seen crowd. So the we've seen crowd, that's the more aggressive, eternal optimism. We made the right staff moves, heads up. We're going to drastically improve defensively just because we got Lynn to come across the city from UCLA, across town, I guess is the right way to say that. Uh, we, we were just dog trash last year from a coaching standpoint defensively. So there will be an immediate big-time upgrade there. Recruiting is trending up. Uh, we, we, we made the right moves. We made the right philosophical shift. Miller Moss is going to ball out at quarterback. We're set. That's one mood. There's another group that says we'll see. And that is the group that respects the moves. No one's looking at the moves Lincoln Riley made and saying, well, I hate these. Of course you love them. I love them. Uh, are you willing to give it time? This crowd, the we'll see crowd, I think is willing to give it more than a year before they cast judgment. They don't just blindly assume a head coach can change his DNA and the DNA of a program overnight. I probably fit more into that camp, but here's a scenario I could see happening. I think there's a scenario where Lincoln Riley just made all the right moves. They don't win nine or ten games this year, and so that's viewed as a failure in USC circles historically. And I end up defending Lincoln Riley against the first crowd, which is ironic because in May, the first crowd would listen to you temper expectations and say, you're a hater. You know, you say anything other than this defense is going to revolutionize itself this year, and to that crowd, you're a hater. Well, no, I think there'll be noticeable improvement, but I still think that there'll be a long way to go because I don't think they have the players, specifically on the interior of their defensive line. They don't have the depth and caliber of player that they need this year. That's my opinion. When I say that they need, I mean that they need to play high-level football and contend in the Big Ten. But if you say that in May, you sound like a hater. Well, the thing about it is, I think I'm right on that, and I think the season will bear that out. Come December, that doesn't mean Lincoln Riley's a bad coach. It doesn't mean he failed. It doesn't mean that they made the wrong moves. It just means they got to have better football players. I could end up defending him against the very crowd that called me a hater for rightly predicting how the season goes. Happens every year with the team. Happened last year with Southern Cal, now that I think about it. And so I think there are a couple of different moods out there. Everybody likes the staff moves that were made. I think there's a difference in opinion of what to expect this year. And the latter group is the kind of group that they could look at an eight-win season and say, don't like that, but we're still good long-term. First group, man, we're USC. We should win this thing this year. You are USC. That's absolutely right. And I'd love to see you do it, contrary to semi-popular belief. I'm not sure that that's in the cards this year. But if I'm wrong, you know, you play Michigan this year. I guess it's the best year to go get Michigan. They're replacing their entire coaching staff. Uh, you play Washington at Washington this year. Those are two toughest road games. They're replacing everyone as well. So Notre Dame at the end of the year, at home, of course. You got LSU in Vegas before anyone really knows what to expect from either team. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We'll see. But I think the mood amongst the fan base may be a little bit split. And I'm sure the peristyle will set me right on every point that I just made wrong. Okay.